In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a regression that you've estimated and use the sum product formula to be able to plug different values for the explanatory variables and observe how the value of the dependent variable changes. For instance, in this example, we could experiment with different values of male and experience and look at how that changes the predicted distance of a that a person can hit a softball. And I'm going to start with the assumption that we have already estimated our regression. And so here you can see I have my regression. The distance someone hits softball is a dependent variable. And we're predicting softball hitting distances by a male dummy variable and a variable for the number of years experience someone has playing ball. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this table and then just paste it below it. I'm just going to make this bigger. And then what I'm going to do, right above here, I'm going to, right here, I'm going to write explanatory variables. And what I'm going to do here is, here's where I'm going to plug in the value of the male dummy variable here the value of the experience dummy variable. We're just always going to put in a 1 for the intercept because the intercepts never multiplied by anything. And here for male we're going to put either 0 or 1. I'm going to pretend that we are we have a female and so the male dummy variable value equals 0. Then I'm going to assume that this female has 5 years of experience playing softball or baseball. After I have this, we have our explanatory variables, we have our coefficients, and we know that the predict predicted distance goes by this formula. But what we don't want to do is to have to go into this equation and put different values, male and experience there. We don't even want to have to write out this equation because sometimes we may be dealing with an uh, equation with 15 explanatory variables. So what we need to do to get this predicted distance, as you can see here, is to take the intercept, multiply it by 1, and add to that the coefficient for male multiplied by the male dummy variable. Add to that the coefficient for experience multiplied by the years of experience, and then we'd have our prediction. We can do this very easily using the sum product formula. I type out the sum product like you see here, and then my first array are my coefficients, then I put a comma, my second array are my explanatory variables, and what the sum product formula is going to do is this is going to take 72.19 times 1 plus 71.00 times 0, plus 3.34 times 5. That's what it does. And as you can see here, that is our prediction. So I'll put predicted distance equals there. And just so we, we know it's correct, let's suppose now we have a female with no years of experience. Well, the predicted distance is 72.19 simply the intercept. And we can fiddle with, with different types of people very quickly. Let's suppose we have a male with 15 years of experience. We predict 193 feet. Suppose a female with 11 years of experience, 108.87 feet. And so by doing this you can, using the sum product formula, you can fiddle with different values of the explanatory variables to look, see how it changes the value of the variable that we are predicting.